Yo, yo, yo! Welcome back to Battlefield 1! Now everyone can play this game. Well, this map, Sinai Desert, is the only map that you can play here. As far as I know, at least in Conquest. And it's actually good because I played the heck out of the other map that we had in the Alpha. And yes, I have a new intro, but that may not be the final intro. I'm working on some ideas right now. I hope you like it. I'm not 100% happy with it. I just wanted to do something fresh and new because it's been years. And now we have medals here that we can uh, work on. We can, you know, for example, get 50 kills with a rifle. Uh, you know, all those things that we had in Battlefield 4. It's just a different layout, different style here, and it's nice. It's kind of more uh, matching this, like, style from this World War One. And as you can see, also the characters, this whole game has kind of like this retro feeling, which is really good when you think about it, you know, how far games have come. And it feels like it's going back, not that the, the graphics are bad, but it really goes back to this, like, old-fashioned feeling that we loved so much. In, for example in Battlefield 1943 and I just can't help it but always be reminded of Battlefield 1943 when I play this. And this is actually my absolute very very first match I got in and I just started right away with a kill and I had so much fun. I got in into the game, that game was already running for probably five minutes. And I usually, in the very first game, I'm kind of like, well, wait, wait a minute, I have to learn the map and all. But here it felt like I felt right at home and I had so much fun. I basically just went with the default soldier, the default gun. With the, I didn't, I didn't, I just wanted to get right into the game. I didn't want to like mess with any settings or anything. Because I had all my settings done in Alpha and of course now it's all going back, was going back to like, we're, you know, the very beginning. So I was like, I'm just going to go in and check out this, this map and see how cool it is. And it is a really cool map. Man, it's so different from the map that we played in the Alpha because that map was, uh, you know, somewhere in Europe. I don't even know which. I think it was in France or so, if I'm not mistaken. This is somewhere in the desert. I don't even know what kind of desert that is. Africa, probably somewhere. Uh, somewhere in the Middle East. I have no idea. <laughs> I would have to look up history. And this is a new vehicle that we didn't have in the Alpha. I don't know what it's called, but it's really cool. It's a fast little vehicle that gets you from A to P really fast. You know, if you just into like capturing as many flags as you want. And you know, who doesn't like gay people who actually play the objective, right? So I'm rocking here the Louis gun. I really like that gun in Alpha. And it feels better actually here. Uh, I don't know. They must have made some adjustments to the gun in general. And there's also a lot of new guns. And I don't know how many we can unlock in the beta. Oh, oops. Oh, I got that guy anyway. Yeah, I had just so much fun. And there's probably also a lot of newbies playing this game. People who never played Battlefield before, I can imagine. Because, you know, I can imagine so many Call of Duty players who are just tired of the futuristic scene are coming and checking this out. And maybe they love it, maybe they don't. I don't know. But, but the more the merrier. We'll definitely guarantee never have any empty servers in this game, that's for sure. I, well, I, I, at least I hope so. I mean, this is, game has gotten really positive feedback. And I don't have any doubts that this game will just do as well as our older Battlefield games will. People will always complain, of course. I just hope they have a good start because the night before the first night or the first day this, this beta was out, things didn't go so well. I, I couldn't get into any games. I tried for like an hour to get into games. I tried to get, you can play Rush or Conquest here in this beta. I didn't get into either. All the servers were listed, people couldn't get in, and the two servers that people were playing on, they had a huge waiting list. And I finally just gave up and went and played some Rainbow Six. I still really, really enjoy Rainbow Six Siege, it's an awesome game. But of course, you know, when there's a new map in Battlefield 1, I mean, who doesn't want to go and check it out? And you know, it's free too. And I'm gonna go now and um, finally try out the horse. I was so eager to try out the horse. I'm gonna see if I can actually go and kill someone from the horse. I'm looking for a victim right now and I definitely don't want to get oh my poor horse oh my god look at that that would be so bad if you did that in reality with a horse that would not be good for the horse to 
get over all this, jump over all this stuff. The horse is not really jumping, it's kind of tumbling. Oh, look at that, my first victim. Let's get the guy. Wow, that was easier than I thought. That was actually pretty cool. I can't wait to kind of do that more. But finally I was able to do that in my very first match. I got to kill someone on my horse. Horses are not as good as I imagined them in the first Assassin's Creed game. I only got the, actually, I, I'm not really an Assassin's Creed game fan, but the first one was so cool because there was, never was a game before where you could actually ride a horse and it felt so good. The horses here are still a little bit jerky and stuff, but I, I can just imagine that it's really, really hard to actually program something like that in a, in a game. And I just feel like the horses should kind of like refuse to go of, uh, over certain obstacles and stuff instead of behaving so weird. I think that could be programmed easily. But, you know, this is still the beta. A lot of things can still be improved. And in general, I have to say, I just love that there are horses. Now I just hope that they also have motorcycles. As far as I know, there were motorcycles in uh, World War One really funky motorcycles, simple motorcycles. We'll see what this game will bring when it comes out. And, you know, I can imagine that they're gonna put a ton of stuff in. Every map will be in a different corner of the world. And so they will have different things in the game. And look at this funny dancing chair here. That's kind of partially in the I wonder if those are things that they're gonna fix. I mean, we've had things like this in the Battlefield 4, or oh, still have them in there. So, you know, why not? Maybe the developers just wanna entertain us a little bit while we're camping in a house, who knows? I hope you enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up if you don't mind, and see you next time when we play some more Battlefield 1. Take care, bye-bye.